What is going on, gorgeous human beings? This is David Lyon, founder of Evolving Man. So in this video, I wanna talk about how you as an embodied creator need to choose your battles wisely. Now, I shared this in a newsletter last week and it created a lot of resonance, so I wanted to share it as a video as well. Basically, in the newsletter, I talk about how about six years ago, I was a vegan, dumpster diving, hippie, wearing torn clothes and not buying anything new. Um, yeah, following this whole ideology that I kind of created for myself of not wanting to create any harm and looking at our society very, very critically and kind of finding my way to feel like I'm doing the right thing. And um, it was highly enjoyable for a time to, for example, be able to basically not need to buy any, uh, any food. I could just live off of dumpster diving for the largest part. Um, but what I also noticed in that time was, first of all, I had very high standards of myself and I made, it, I made life quite challenging for myself. And I was very much looking down on other people who were not doing the same, right? So I was looking down on people who were not always buying organic stuff and uh, who were buying new things and so on and so forth. And as I started becoming an embodied creator about three, four years ago and starting to share my message and really putting most of my focus onto doing this work with men, with embodiment, um, I realized that if I try to fight on all these fronts at the same time, like, oh, uh, I whatever, like I need to be vegan because of these reasons and I need to buy as little stuff as possible for that reasons and I need to not buy stuff on Amazon because it's terrible and so on and so forth. I'm gonna spread myself very thin, right? Like I'm gonna divide my energy into all these different places so that ultimately in none of these places, I'm gonna have a real impact. And I have so much compassion, right? Like from my place today for myself in these times and also for other people who are in a similar place. Because look, if you're a sensitive human being, you notice the pain and suffering that is going on all around and you wanna help to do it differently and you don't wanna cause any harm. And that's, you know, that's so intelligent and that makes so much sense. But if you really wanna have an impact in this world, in my experience, it's important that you focus on energy, your energy on say one or two things that you truly wanna change um, to make a difference. Because if you try to do eight things at the same time, like the change that you're gonna create is gonna be very tiny. And so it's like what it takes inside of me is like I have this idealistic part that says like, no, I need to do everything right. Right, and it's like this frantic, like, no, I mean, look what's going on. Like, w life can be so different. And it's true, life can be so different. But then there's the, like, the pragmatic part, the warrior part of me that says like, okay, what's, like, what can I truly change? If I focus all my energy, I'm not gonna be able to save the world by myself. What is the one thing that I can truly have an impact on? Or what are the two things I can have an impact on? And so that really changed my way of being. And so if I'm clear what the impact is I wanna have, I'm gonna do the best for myself to, like, to make my life like, easier around so that I can really focus my energies on that. So like, for example, if I, in my position, were like, no, I don't use a smartphone because smartphones are bad and I, don't, I would never buy stuff on Amazon and um, I always try to um, like research a long time before I buy anything new so that I like make the best decision and this is the most sustainable thing, I would probably not be able to do the work that I'm doing. Now, do I think that these things that I just named are important? Yes, they're just not my battle right now. And so my hope and my belief in a way is that if each of us chooses one battle, two battles, whatever it is, focus their energy on something that they can truly change in this world, then we are gonna change this world one step at a time. No one is gonna be able to do it by themselves, but like the, the added power of each person focusing their energy on one point saying, I do wanna have an impact there. I think then we can really make a difference. And so it takes this kind of letting your inner idealist cry. Like you will not be able to create the beautiful world that you know is possible by yourself by spreading yourself too thin. Like you gotta focus. Yeah.
So let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear how this lands in you, if you can resonate with this, um, if you know this from yourself to spread yourself too thin, and if you have found anything that helps you in focusing your energy and having an impact. Now, as always, with Evolving Man and with Embodied Creators, you're seen, you're loved, you're appreciated. Keep evolving, and I'll talk to you very soon. Peace.